If you need to use latest features, you need Windows 11, but you figure out that you don't have secure boot and no DPM 2.0. But after watching this video, you realize that it is possible. So let's get started. As of September 2022, if we check the Windows 11 specifications and requirements page, they have mentioned under the system requirements that your CPU should have the secure boot capabilities and it should also have the TPM version 2.0. In older versions of CPU, we do have the TPM, but its version is 1.0. So if your CPU doesn't have the version 2.0 of TPM, you won't be able to install Windows 11 on that particular chipset. So in this video, I will show you how you can remove these two requirements from the Windows installation media and you will still be able to install Windows 11 on any system without having any kind of issues. Some people are also confused between the TPM and PTT. But if we check the Intel's official website, the TPM does provide support to Windows 11 installation and the PTT also provides the support for Windows 11. So if even you have the PTT version 2.0, you still be able to install the Windows 11. So the very first thing that you need to do is download the Windows 11 ISO file. So in the official Microsoft Windows 11 download page, I will leave this link in the description of this video. Scroll down a little bit and select the download Windows 11 multi edition ISO. This ISO file have all the versions of Windows 11, including Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. And then click on the download. Now choose the language. I will go with the English International. Then click on confirm. And it will give you the 64 bit download link. I have already downloaded the 64 bit version of Windows 11. So I'm not I'm going to skip this step. As we can see, I already have Windows 11 English edition. And the other tool that we need is Rufus. We can also do this task with the help of this part. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will use the Rufus. You can download Rufus from its website for free. It's a free tool. You can scroll down on their website and click on the this download button. The latest version is 3.2.0. Right click on this Rufus. Click on run as administrator. Click yes. It will launch the Rufus. Now plug in your USB. Make sure that you your USB is 8 gigs or more. As you can see that my USB is plugged in. It's 16 gigs. Now it says that you need to select the ISO. So I'm going to drag and drop the Windows 11 ISO. You can also click on the select and browse your ISO file. Now you need to click on the GPT. These are two different settings. I'm going to go with the GPT because it will work with the UEFI and your Windows installation will be easy. Leave everything as it is and click on start. Now here is the best part of Rufus. As I earlier mentioned you that uh, you will be able to install the Windows 11 on the devices that doesn't have the TPM or secure boot. If your system doesn't have any of these features, you can click on the remove requirements for 4 GB plus RAM, secure boot and TPM. And you can click on OK. But for now, I will leave this unchecked if your system don't have these features you can check it 
and the rest of the steps that i will show later in this videos are very very same okay so my system does have these features so i'm gonna skip it and, and i'm gonna click on ok then it gives us the warning that all the data will be lost so i'm gonna click on ok it will take around a few uh, minutes so make sure the entire process is done i'm gonna fast forward this video from here Once you get this ready message, that means that Rufus has copied all the required Windows 11 installation files into your pen drive and you are ready to go. So you can click on close and plug out your USB device. And now you can plug that USB device into your computer in which you want to install the Windows 11. Now, once you are booted into your BIOS settings, you can do that by pressing the F2 or F8 key. Various motherboards have uh, various key combinations. I will leave all the key combinations in the description of your this video. And once you are in BIOS settings, you need to uh, go to the boot settings for the very first part. And if uh, you see UEFI is uh, listed here, that means that you are good to go. If it's not UEFI means if legacy support then you won't see any um, uh, secure password uh, settings in the security section so make sure that it's uh, UEFI and for the users who don't have the TPM or secure boot settings enabled they need to do nothing just switch to the UEFI mode even if you don't have the UEFI mode leave it as it is and boot into your bootable pen drive okay these settings uh, these settings are only necessary for the people who does have the uh, secure boot settings and tpm enabled in their motherboards okay so i am switched to the uefi mode and if i go to the security section i can see here that intel platform trust technology is enabled if it's it's disabled then you need to uh, enable it and then uh, you need to enable the secure boot mode as well so it's disabled i'm gonna enable it so that's all for the bios settings now you need to go to the exit section and select exit saving changes okay and your computer will uh, reboot and when it's rebooting you need to press the f12 key to select the boot device okay so i'm gonna enter exit saving changes yes and you can see that my device is turned off once it's started rebooting i'm gonna press the f12 key and you can see that my pen drive is listed here as sandisk cruiser blade i'm gonna select this pen drive Now the laptop will boot into the UEFI mode and it will boot into the pen drive. So wait uh, till it's uh, booted. It will take a few moments. As you can see that my device is successfully booted into the uh, Windows 11 installation media. I'm gonna click on next. You can choose the language etc. I'm gonna leave it as defaults. Now click on install now. Now the setup is starting. It will take a few moments. It's asking me to enter the key and I don't have any key for now. So I'm gonna click on I don't have product key. Now select the uh, operating system. I'm gonna go with Windows 11 Pro. Click next. accept the microsoft terms and conditions next 
now go with the uh, custom install if your uh, installation is fresh and uh, choose a drive i'm gonna choose this if it says that windows can't install be installed in the, on this drive that means that you will have to delete that partition and it will result in removing all the files okay so make sure you have backup of all those files or try to install windows on a newer uh, disk like ssds for now it is not giving me any error so i'm gonna click on next uh, i can also format the drive to make sure that all the previous files are deleted for uh, from this system now windows is copying files it will take a few moments uh, till this windows is installed on this system you don't need to do anything uh, from now just make sure that when the windows uh, is rebooting make sure to plug out your usb otherwise it will again boot into that usb and your installation will start from starting i will fast forward uh, this video Now as you can see that the installation is uh, completed and I need to select the country or region. So I'm gonna go with the United States, yes. Now choose the keyboard layout, it's uh, US, so I'm gonna click on yes. And I'm gonna skip this one. So it's asking me to connect to a network. Uh, I will click on I don't have a network. Continue with limited setup. It asks me to enter my name. So I'm gonna enter the name. Enter a password, I'm gonna skip that. So under uh, privacy settings, I'm going to turn off all the data that is being sent to Microsoft by default. So it will again take few moments to complete the setup. Windows 11 is finally greeting us. That's it guys, we have successfully installed the Windows 11 on your PC. You can complete the initial uh, setup by, you know, customizing your desktop, uh, the screen resolution, installing the required uh, drivers and uh, all that stuff. But I have shown you the step by step method to install Windows 11 on any type of computer. Make sure to subscribe to Cyber Secrets Revealed and leave your comment down below if you have any queries related to this video. Thank you.